Right. Um, we continue our uh, coverage on this deadly path uh, that these storms have taken. On the phone right now with me is uh, Carl Breland. He's the sheriff. Kyle, Kyle Breland, excuse me, with the, the sheriff for Walthall County. Uh, sheriff Breland, I am so sorry. I know your area has been hit very hard. What can you tell us about uh, what you're seeing now? Uh, Walthall County is hit pretty hard. Uh, we got we got numerous trees down on power lines and across uh, across roadways. Um, we've got the ones open that we can't open until the power company can clear these power lines. Um, we 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 do have one confirmed fatality and one one person that I know of that was injured that was seriously injured. So you do have, um, we understand that there has been one fatality there, and are you saying there are others injured? Do you know about how many are injured? I don't have a count on how many of uh, minor injuries. There were some minor injuries, but I do know one person that was seriously injured. All right. Other than the fatality. All right, thank you. Um, what about uh, the damage to the homes? Uh, did was there significant damage to homes and and trees uprooted and on the on the roads, the power lines you set are down? Yeah, yeah, numerous trees, big trees, and uh, uh, several homes had damage too. And they said that were just completely demolished. Uh. Were you prepared for this? I know we've been saying for a while, I know MEMA has been saying for the last eight or nine days that the storm was coming and up to the last we've been talking about it. Um, in, in your years in Walthall County, have you ever seen anything like this? I've never seen one exactly cover an area as wide as this one has and done as much damage. But as far as being prepared, you're never prepared for something like this. We were, we were, uh, we were ready and we responded to it and we, we've got it to us. Mostly under control with all the chaos right now. I um, know. It's just, it's just a serious situation, oh, especially yeah. for the families that lost their loved ones. Oh my goodness! What about um, uh, the the cleanup? Or or w have you accounted? Have you? We've got live pictures here across the screen right now of Walthall County. Here you can see uh, the uh, situation here in all the. Um, uh, the the uh, home, this home right here, completely demolished. Uh, wh where do you stand now as far as, have you accounted for all the people pretty much? And have you um, begun a, um, a search and rescue over and are now you in the cleanup mode? Well, we, we, we've got a few more residences to check because we, we couldn't get into the to the area because of the power lines down across the road. Okay. Uh, not too many. We, we checked, we're going to check those houses, but as far as, I think we've covered most of the houses as far as looking for injuries, and now it's just, it's, we're just going to have to take time to start cleaning this mess. And, and I assume some of your first responders were also um, uh, hit by the damage. Yes, they were. All right. Well, we... Um, we appreciate you talking to us now. I know you've got a lot uh, ahead of you in the days coming, and uh, certainly it has been um, a, a storm that we're not going to uh, forget for a very long time, that's for sure, if forever. They'll be talking about this one. Two back-to-back yes, -to -back tornadoes on the same path just yep. uh, leaving a wake of destruction. All right, Sheriff uh, Kyle Breland, Walthall County, thank you, sir, and uh, stay safe out there. All right, thank you.